Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Polkadot. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. You should do your own research before investing money into crypto. And if you haven't seen the previous DOT update, I would encourage you to check that out before watching this one so that you have more context. It's going to be linked in the top right hand corner of the screen. Now let's jump into the TA. So taking a look at Polkadot on the daily chart on TradingView, the chart is pulled from Binance and you can see that we are breaking out of our large pink falling wedge. And if I continue zooming out here just to show you how big it actually is, you can see that we created it over here in November of 2021 and we have been retesting that resistance multiple times so we have november 2021 we have march 2022 and we almost did the same thing in april and now we have rejected it here in october and we're bouncing above it uh, in november so this is a valid resistance trend line since november last year so a full year before we started breaking above it and in terms of the support trend lines you can see that um actually this is better on it looks better on the weekly, but still, you have a touch in July last year, in a touch in June, a touch in July, a touch in uh, two touches in July, actually, in 2022. So this is a valid support trend line. Now, within this large falling wedge, we created a smaller falling wedge, this green falling wedge, as you can see, which exactly same thing, multiple support resistance levels. Uh, or multiple touches in between those levels and finally you started breaking above it right you saw the breakout here a move to the downside and another break above the pink trend line so our technical target for now is going to be all the way up here so that's where the pattern was created and that's going to and that's going to be at nine dollars and 35 cents so that is technically our first resistance level that's our first technical target now obviously out of the large falling wedge our technical target is all the way up there at the all-time high prices so we're probably not going to get there within the next couple of months but after that after we get to our first technical target we could be looking at ten dollars and 37 cents now this is the uh, first fib level based on the large fibonacci retracement that we have on and as you can see if i zoom out once again so let me grab the arrow mark here so this is our swing low that we created in july of 2021 and this is the swing high that we created in november of 2021 so with that, you did have a technical target at $3.71 all the way down here at the 1.618, which was our technical target after losing the first FIB level. Now, what ended up happening is that we went all the way to the 1.272, which was here at $6.60, and we kind of hovered around that level for multiple months. We didn't reach the 1.414 at all, and now we're breaking to the upside. So I have to say this is very bullish for Polkadot. Crypto doesn't care about all the bearish news coming out of the Fed and uh, interest rates, inflation data coming November 10th. Let's see how crypto markets react to that. But based on what we've seen already, the markets aren't going to drop when we get the inflation data. But uh, we'll see. Never, You never know what's going to happen next especially in crypto. So, like I said, next target $9.35 and you can also target um $10.37 as we've discussed already. That's going to be our important level that we have retested as resistance previously at the end of May and we may see another retest here. So, if I take that and see what's the percent Okay, that's a 44% trade. So, that's not too bad from where we are right now. However, I do want to say that I would not be buying Polkadot over here. Now, I do have quite a bit of Polkadot and my average buying price is somewhere around $7, I should say. And obviously, I'm not going to be taking profits right now. I am not uh, swing trading it at the moment. And uh, what I would actually be doing is I would wait until we get very overextended to the upside. Once we actually turn maybe parabolic or go vertical. And after that, I would look at some 
you know, areas where I can take profits and buy back in on a further retracement. But until that happens, I'm not going to speculate in terms of my swing trading because you never know what's going to happen. Like I said, jumping into the daily uh, RSI, you can see that we do have this support ascending support uh, burgundy trend line and we have been retesting it since May. Since the capitulation in May, we had another touch in September. Uh, almost another touch here in October, and we are very near the overbought. So if I zoom out and we take a look at the, we take a look at our uh, uh, bullish divergence that we have here. So as you can see, so with this low in May, you can see this is where we were uh, on the price action. The next low on the RSI is over here, and we're printing a lower low on the price action a higher low on the RSI. So that's a bullish divergence already. Next up, we have another low or the next low, I should say, over here in September. And that's even lower than the previous low in July. And as you can see, once again, that is a bullish divergence. Next up, we have our low in October over here. And that's even lower than the one that we had in September. So another bullish divergence. And I think all of these bullish divergences are actually finally showing, uh, you know, the, the, the aftermath. And we can see that in August, we did have that run up after this bullish divergence. And we may see the exact same thing over here with the lows in September and October. And that bullish divergence is playing out right in front of us. And yeah, so this is a good time to be in Polkadot. Obviously, I have a pretty big stack, very happy with my holdings. And we'll take profits at around about, you know, $150, $180. We'll see what, what's going to be uh, what's going to be going down with crypto in the next two years. But I do want to switch over to the Binance website. And before we continue the video, I quickly want to mention my Patreon. Now, if you like the channel and you like the content that I provide for you on this channel, then feel free to check my Patreon out for more exclusive content like low cap gem calls, my buy alerts, my sell alerts. I do take a look at your technical analysis requests at your video requests. As you can see, there are multiple tiers which you can choose from. And if you want to support the channel, then this is the best way to do so. As you can see, I do post quite frequently. I have almost a thousand posts, I think there, or getting closer to a thousand anyway. And I did start my Patreon a year ago. So yeah, let's get back to the video. Switching over to the weekly chart, so a bit of a simpler chart here, as you can see, we have a major resistance level at $12.77, and that's just below the 55 weekly EMA, and I would be keeping my eye on this level, and I'll explain why in a second. You also have this teal resistance trend line, which is basically the trend line that we had on the previous chart. This is the resistance of the falling wedge, and we're breaking above it, so that's pretty much the same from the previous chart. And on top of that, we have a buy zone anywhere from $6.10 all the way down to $4.60. Now, this buy zone is based off of the lows that we printed in December of 2020 and the high that we printed in November of 2020. And as you can see, what we've done essentially is we have broken above this level in December. We went on this super strong bull market. And right now, when, when you went back down, you actually retested this previous resistance as support this time, as you can see. So you retested that as support, and now you're bouncing to the upside. So this was a perfect entry. This was a perfect entry, and this is where I was buying into Polkadot, you know, seven, six dollars. I was buying up all of that as much as I possibly could. And technically, everything is happening the way it needs to happen right now. So uh, if we're looking at $12.77, that's a very nice 73% move uh, to the upside. We obviously have the 20 EMA. That's going to be a major resistance level going forward right now. We have that swing high that we created in August. So if we manage to break above that, uh, it's going to, you know, things are going to be looking good for Polkadot. If I take the swing low here and I take the swing high with a FIB retracement, you get the 1.618 target at $13.41. Now, why is this $12.77 
a level important because this is the low that we printed here in August of 2021. So this held us as support here during the pullback in summer of 2021. Then we had the, the move to the upside, the final leg of the bull market. And from there, we actually capitulated, obviously. So what is happening here is we are breaking to the upside and we may retest this level as resistance now since it is above us. Thus, it's considered a resistance level. So we may come back to that level to retest it as resistance, and then we may have a move to the downside, potentially retesting this $9.35 level. And from there, we may have another bounce to the upside. No one knows how it's going to play out, but a lot of projects have done the exact same thing. For example, Elrond. We had this low for Elrond the same way we did here during the last years summer then we lost it in spring of 2022 and in august what actually happened is elrond went all the way up here to this level retested that and went back down so polkadot hasn't done that polkadot wasn't that bullish in august right it did have a nice move to the upside not as quiet as bullish as some of the other coins and we haven't retested that level yet, so it may come within the next couple of weeks during November. So let's see what happens. Let's all stay patient. Don't get crazy with your swing trades. You know, we are still uh, relatively oversold on the weekly. You can see you're sitting at the index of 40, which is not that high at all. And we do have a, our basically our next resistance level on the weekly RSI would be here because you have a touch there in May last year, you have a touch there in March, and you have a touch there in December of 2021. So this is gonna be an important level for us to break above. So let's see what happens. Stay, stay patient, okay? I'm not gonna be swing trading anything if we're breaking to the bull market, which I highly doubt that. But even if we're doing that, let's not sell too early and you know stay behind with our cash. Let's stay with our crypto and move forward to the bull market. Thank you all for watching. If I missed out anything important on the charts, please let me know down below in the comment section. And I am going to catch you in the next one. Goodbye and good night.